you will assuredly be the me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my word. Guard me as the apple of your eye, and the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you, Spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie Eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe Eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie Eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense. No place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received <coughs> as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring to glory your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Be Our responsorial psalm. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are far from old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice 
and teaches the humble his ways. Remember, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant. I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We can take one of two paths from this gospel. In one path, we can take the words of Christ as they are written and say, that we have to forgive our brother from our heart to avoid the torturers. That's one way of looking at it. And for years, that was a way people approached it. They often spoke of repenting of your sins and coming to God for fear of what would happen. Fear of going to hell. But might I offer you another path? As I was reflecting upon the gospel, I came across a line from St. Jerome. And he likened the offenses we commit against those we love to offenses against God. As we were young, I am sure that we upset our parents. I know in my own life one of the 
The things that I am most not proud of, not proud of, is the time I wounded my mother and father so much I made my mother cry. That broke my heart and started immediate transformation in my life never to do that again. How much more should we approach God? Not just for a big offenses, the committing of mortal sins, breaking the commandments, but even for the small incursions. For a God who loves us so much more than even our parents could love us, how much more should we weep and say, Lord, I'm sorry, and let me try to fulfill my obligation to love you to the best of my ability, avoiding not just the major, but avoiding the minor things. And then looking toward my brothers and sisters and saying with a heart that knows it has offended God greatly throughout its life, that my brothers and sisters are in the same boat. And their offenses against me, well, they pale in comparison to what we have done toward God. We're not God. We haven't died for our brothers and sisters. He did for us. How much uh, more should we forgive them because their offenses are such a small pittance compared to what we did against God? So let us approach, and I offer this path, let us approach our forgiveness of our brothers and sisters in this same way. And let us, before Easter comes, go to confession. Make a sincere apology to God for the times when we have caused his most sacred heart to weep for the offenses that we have committed against him. Let us not judge them as greater or lesser offenses, but let us look at all offenses and say, Lord, for, so, for someone who loves me so, I'm sorry even for the most trifling of offenses. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs>
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord, sacrifice your hands. The Lord, praise the glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to you, to your almighty power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. <coughs> together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 